Alright guys, this is my last piece. This is Steve here. Uh, I'm going to do this really quick. I don't really want to waste time. I kind of want to get the computer together, the build, make sure everything's fine. It's going to be a surprise for me. I hope it's what I expect it to be. It's looking like it. Oh, it is. Look at that. That is the Intel i7-6700K LGA-1151 socket Skylake processor. This is a quad-core processor that supports up to eight threads. That's eight threads of hyper-threading. The 67K RAMs, or the 67K runs about 4 gigahertz. It can also run at 4.2 gigahertz with its Intel Turbo Boost technology. That's not overclocking, that's just what it automatically does if you're I believe if your motherboard supports it and if the uh, CPU supports it and the K series do. It says it has 8 megabytes of L3 cache with a Intel HD Graphics 530. The CPU runs about uh, 91 watts. Um, it comes with no CPU cooler because they're kind of expecting you to overclock it. A lot of people do tend to overclock this. Uh, I'm not. I want to do actual photo editing, video editing, and right now I'm just recording with an iPad and just straight up uploading them. I'm not even editing my videos. Just want to kind of see how things go. Um, I'm just satisfied that <laughs> the actual i7-6700K actually came in the mail. I'm not going to really speak about the price. It is ridiculous. You could buy an Xbox One or a PlayStation 4 for the price of this thing. That's crazy. It, there should not be processors that much. Um, but whatever, to each his own. I'm sure the, the 6600K, which was the i5, would have worked just as fine. But I believe in... They keep upgrading motherboards to where you can't change the processors from one to the next. So I don't want to buy a smaller processor and go, oh, you know, I'll just upgrade later, but then I'll just have a processor sitting around and then I'll have to build a whole nother computer around it. So I would rather just get the top of the line processor and work with that. We're going to stop this video right here because I want to go straight to the computer build. I'll record that. I'm not sure how I'm going to edit it, but we'll see how it goes. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.